Good afternoon, it's Jeremy Ward with Ward Realty Services. It is December the 7th, and I just wanted to share with you guys the market stats for basically this last month and kind of look at what we're gonna possibly see going into the first of the year uh, with January 2022, right around the corner. So I'm gonna do a little share screen here. So we've got this on a seven day um, market report. So basically, uh, right now, in the last seven days, we have listed uh, board wide. This includes all of Syrah, Southern Indiana Real Estate Association's listings. That would be Floyd, Harrison, Clark, Washington, Jackson counties, uh, just the area that we cover. So in the last seven days, we've uh, brought 72 new residential properties to the market. And looks like we got 13 that came back on the market. Uh, 62 of them has have been decreased in price. And I know uh, the last few months we've been seeing that kind of tick up. Uh, I feel like sellers are maybe kind of uh, fishing a little bit, as I've said before, kind of see like how much they can get out of their house in this market because the inventory is so tight. Uh, it is bringing more money. It's a simple supply and demand, but at some point there's a ceiling. So I think a lot of these price reductions are where you're seeing people maybe just list them a little too high and have to go back and, and restructure and, and prove the price. Uh, we have had two price increases. That is generally due to new construction and doing some add-ons. So in the last seven days, we have pended, we've had accepted offers on 118 properties um, and then sold and closed another 164. Um, which is crazy because we've only bringing 72 onto the market right now. So right now, far as residential properties, our inventory is 515 residential properties for sale active at this moment. Back in November, we had about 576. So even though it's getting close to Christmas and the holidays, we're still burning through these properties, selling them faster than we can replenish. Now I will say that we've been kind of being able to hold our own ground <clears throat> back in June, we were at 438 units. So even as fast as properties selling, the realtors have been doing a good job getting with their sellers, educating them and getting the houses on the market for the buyers to purchase. So, you know, we, we are losing a little ground right now. We've dropped down to 515. But one of the things that I don't think people look at is there's 322, um, vacant lots or vacant property listings out there as well. So builders are working very hard with their buyers to, to build inventory and build them on these lots. So one of the things you may consider to do during this period is, is talk with your agent uh, about a possibly building, not only in a subdivision, but building a custom home on one of these vacant lots. Um, here at Ward Realty, we love to work with vacant ground. We do a lot of, um, we do a lot of vacant ground. I'm primarily from a rural area here in Cordon, Harrison County. So <clears throat> that's something that I know very well. And uh, I would encourage you guys to maybe give that a thought. So I think over the next month, uh, we probably will see the inventory come down a little bit just because a lot of people don't want to list their homes during Christmas uh, with everybody coming over and the gifts and so such. But what I will say, sometimes that is a great idea to list it when nobody else uh, are listing their property. So basically, if you put yours out there, you have less competition, right? So again, our Southern Indiana market is still a seller's market. Um, basically, anything less than six months inventory is a seller's market. Anything above that is a buyer's market. We have about a month and a half inventory right now. So the sellers are still in a good position. But I will say to the buyers as well, as people are pulling their homes are not putting their homes on the market right now. The ones that are on the market and haven't sold, it would be a good time to maybe make an offer on those. Cause I would say some of the sellers may be like some of these others that haven't decreased the price yet. Maybe they're looking forward, you know, maybe the first year to decreasing it. But if you can make an offer now uh, on something that's been sitting a little bit and, and you can't really figure out why, maybe it's just a little bit overpriced you might have a shot of getting a seller to bite on one of your offers. So hope everybody has a great holidays, a great Christmas. And I look forward to talking to you guys again in January and we'll see where the market goes. My prediction will be less inventory 
Uh, but January should fire up and we should see a lot of people putting their houses on the market after the first of the new year. So hope this thing balances out, makes a healthy market for everybody. Talk to you soon. Thank <laughs> you.